Okay, Nicole. So here's uh, we're looking at this guy again, and I'm I'm thinking that you know you you've done really done a good job starting to develop this type and starting to to have this type conform to the contours of the face, and I think that's um, going to be really one of the successful areas of the portrait once you finish that. Um, and what I'm, I'm, a couple of areas where that's kind of falling apart is right here with the Galapagos. That contour of the head right there wouldn't go down like that. It would go across like this, kind of following that Sirens of Titan. So you see what I'm saying? So that Galapagos should kind of like that. And then also over here at Mother Night, it kind of droops down like that. And I'm not real sure if that's a proper contour of that face would be represented like that. Now, I, I also mentioned in, in discussion board that mustache and that honker, uh, and those just really need to be prominent. I mean, Vonnegut's mustache was kind of his defining characteristic, as it were, and it's just not translated well in this typographic portrait. I highly suggest that you, you um, present this on either a light, um, prop, a, a white or a black background. I think you're trying to do too much with too little in terms of type. Um, and by that, I mean that you're just trying to use too, you need more type, you just plain old need more typography in the hair area and in some of the face areas. Um, there's just not enough. You're trying to do too much, like Slaughterhouse Five here, you're trying to cover the whole top in the, of his forehead and down over into his sideburns. So, you know, the type is free, man. Pick some more and use it. So, so we can really start filling this thing in and giving it the depth and especially the volume that, that I think it needs. So awesome job. You're off to a wonderful start. And I really can't wait to see um, how this ends. Um, go ahead and open up. Make sure you open up the portrait and keep that open while you're looking at this to finish it off so we can really define the darkest areas, which are typically around the eyes, and the lightest areas, which are typically specular highlights, which means reflections off the cheeks and things like that. So awesome job. If you have any questions, please just give me a holler. Thanks.